Tap your heels together three times. Those instructions from Glinda the Good Witch were instrumental in getting Judy Garland home in 1939's The Wizard of Oz. There's no place like home. But today... So we do have them stored in this archival box. That idea of tapping them together, even touching them with bare hands, is enough to make conservator Don Wallace cringe. I spent probably over 200 hours just working on the sequins themselves. In the words of the movie's other witch, these things must, must be, be done, done delicately. And not just because they're a pair of 80-year-old shoes. The ruby slippers are, of course, some of the most recognizable objects to ever come out of Hollywood. Every single time I pick up these shoes, they are an American treasure and they're iconic. I always feel excited and I always get a little bit of a thrill knowing that I get to work with these amazing objects. It's been a painstaking, nearly two-year conservation process, cleaning every bead. And we do have missing beads, but um, it's part of their story. Realigning every sequin. The sequins on the toes, they were exposed to light during the filming. You can see that there is some fading. Some of that brilliant red has lost. Right down to the felt soles. Felt so they made less noise during dancing scenes. Scenes generations of fans, including Wallace, remember vividly. And I think everyone always gets up, they click their heels, and they get with their friends and family, and they skip arm in arm. Um, and so I think it just, it hits you. Returning memories to millions of fans once again. There's no place like home. Reporting in Washington, I'm Chris Welch.